Hey guys, it's uh, been a while since I've uh, posted a video. Just wanted to show you what I've been working on. Uh, I've kind of not been able to work on uh, hydrogen for a while because the only vehicle I have that is currently in operation is the Hummer. So my wife and I are sharing that right now. Unfortunately, the other vehicle we had uh, no longer works. Um, and it's not fixable so we only have the Hummer right now and we're sharing it so it's probably not the smartest thing to uh, experiment on that while that's happening so in the meantime I'm uh, just kinda working on the wireless transmission of electricity I guess you could call it it's kinda like a Don Smith spin-off and uh, in a nutshell what I have here is um, a battery. The battery is just operating the fan. That's the only thing it's operating. Um, the fan is used to keep the uh, MOSFET cool. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking the battery charger just as a power source um, and running it into the PWM the PWM goes into the MOSFET. The MOSFET goes through that uh, resonant rod and the output of the resonant rod goes through the bridge rectifier which has a few strategically placed caps on it and the output from that goes into this AC bulb um, which kind of acts like a, I guess, a Tesla coil itself. So when that's running, uh, we're using about an amp or so of power, which I'll show you in a minute. When that's running, the AC light comes on, and in addition to that, I have a 210 watt, sorry, 25 watt LED bulbs, which you've seen me use before. The first LED bulb has a power source coming off of the uh, MOSFET. That's just one wire coming off the MOSFET and the opposite end or connector of the light itself just goes to, um, where is it here? Uh, it goes to a, it just goes to the grounding of the, of this cap here. And all it's, all it's acting as is a ground. There's no power utilized from this capacitor. I can unhook it and it will be one wire transmission for sure, but it obviously uses more electrons, it gets electrons flowing better when there's a ground. So that specific light, again, is powered by one lead coming off the MOSFET which is the center pin over here and then again it just goes the other end just goes to a grounding source um, so basically it utilizes you'll see no energy and the light comes up it comes on so that's LED number one LED number two uh, kind of follows a similar principle but it hooks up to, if you follow the yellow wire, it hooks up to the positive end of the battery. Um, it doesn't need to be positive, it can be hooked up to the positive or the negative. Um, and the other end of the LED is just hooked up to the negative of the uh, power supply. It doesn't have to be hooked up to there, it could be a negative of anything. Uh, so it's literally using negative energy to run and again it's one wire transmission this battery again is only used to operate the fan it is not involved in powering this LED whatsoever it's just used as a grounding source um, so the battery does not use any energy uh, to do this I could hook it up to another separate battery if I had one kicking around but I don't so you'll see that this specific LED basically lights up uh, when it's just hooked, hooked up to any type of ground on its own. 
So uh, let me just fire this thing up and you'll see and hear what I'm talking about. The meter right here is to measure amps going into the entire system from the battery supply, but it's all, it goes crazy. It doesn't really read um, effectively because all the magnetic waves, I guess, but I'll show you like what the battery charger is saying once I turn it on. So just a second, let me reach over and turn it on. Okay. So let me back up here. Hopefully you can see all of that. So again, I've got the AC light going, which is basically running off the rod uh, and being powered again through uh, the bridge rectifier. All right, so that I would call that just regular power. It's basically converting DC to AC and cranking up the voltage, and you get a you can get a 120 light. 120 volt light to come on using DC. In addition to that, we've got this LED, uh, which is probably 50% bright, and again, that's coming off of one leg of the MOSFET, and the other leg is going hooked up to the negative side of the um, cap. So, and I'm going to just Take it off to show you what happens. See, look, it's still it's still lit. It's still lit with one wire. Watch when I touch the one wire. All right, gets a little brighter, right? Because I'm acting as either a ground or some sort of a source. So I'm just going to hook that back up. All right. So and. We'll go over here to the other LED, which is actually fairly bright, I'd say 80%. Um, just a guess, right? But 80%. And again, that wire is just going on to the positive of that battery, which again, it's not powering anything. So don't, don't think that uh, that light's being powered from the battery. Um, if I take it off, if I take the that connector off, you can see that it, whoops, I took it all off. Well, whatever, same thing. Um, you can see that the light dims, but it's definitely not off. So now it's just one wire uh, going into the negative side, and the other one's just being held in the air. So I'm going to uh, hook that back on to the positive side, and you can see that the light gets brighter. So, yeah. Uh, I just hooked it all back up and it seems to be working fine. Uh, the goal is to get, I guess, the, um, the LED over here to get it fully lit and like I had it set up before to see how far of a distance I can have this LED away from the power source and continually to use the same, continually to uh, uh, stay as bright as it is or brighter um, and hopefully uh, keep transmitting that power as uh, far a distance as possible from the source so that that's the goal for right now but that's what I'm working on and I thought you guys might like to see it so yeah right now it's basically well this is one wire power transmission and this is no wire power transmission so I can either uh, use a, a different type of ground like a chunk of steel or I can stick it in the earth or I can put an antenna on there. Regardless, it all works. It's basically like a Tesla receiver. Um, but that's how it works. Let me know what you think.